Hey, what's going on guys? So today I want to bring you a quick little video about this really cool processor and all the things that you can do with it. This is probably the best bargain in the market right now. Um, and you can pick it up for less than 100 bucks and there's so much that you can do with this little thing. I made a video a while back about this processor, but uh, there's still more to talk about. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so first things first, I want to talk about something that I did not cover in the previous video, and that is the uh, memory controller with these CPUs, the 5500, the 5700, the 5600G, and the 5700G. All four of these processors share one thing in common. In common, uh, they're, they're all monolithic type of architecture, meaning that the core and the memory controller and all those things are included into one die, one single die. It doesn't have, you know, chiplets around uh, laying out on a substrate. It's, it's not like that. Um, and with these four c CPUs, particularly this one here, the 5500, you can overclock your RAM all the way up to 4400, 4600 mega transfers per second if the uh, motherboard number one lets you and if the memory controller is strong enough to go up high those high uh, speeds with this 5500 and typically based on the 5500s that i've owned in the past the sweet spot is 46 or, or i'm sorry 4266 or 4300 mega transfer per second uh, cl18 as you can see here um, i have tested these uh, settings uh, at these speeds and it is stable uh, but um, uh, let's go and get into the BIOS and I'll show you what I'm talking about here okay so now that we're in the BIOS let's go into OC um, let's take a look here first of all I want to say also that I have overclocked the CPU as I did previously in the last video uh, same steps same settings uh, curve optimizer, I'm not using that here because uh, this little CPU is... The 5500s are not binned um, going for the best. They're actually, you know, they're not they're not the best when it comes to CPU overclocking. So um, the voltage, you want to leave it as just, you know, um, where it is because uh, you'll be looking at 1.4 or 1.5 volts if you want to overclock the cpu i don't want that even at auto with, uh, with uh, pbo enabled it still takes the voltage too high and i don't like that but anyway so the kit here by default it's uh, 4600 mega transfers per second ic's are made by micron this is micron e revision and micron e revision loves to overclock if you look through Ty typhoon burner and you do see that you have micron e revision uh, yeah, your kit will potentially be able to overclock past 4,000 mega transfers per second because, like I said, e-revision loves overclocking. Uh, Samsung B die even better, but um, also Hynix DJR is another uh, type of IC that you can overclock this high as well. But uh, as you can see, everything here, these are my timings that I'm using for, these are all manual, by the way. This is not the XMP profile. Um, so if you want to copy these settings, I have 4266. If you have uh, Micron E-Revision, Samsung b die can even go tighter. Or this these timings here will also work with Hynix DJR uh, or Hynix, uh, let's see, what was the other? CJR, I believe it is. I don't remember. But you can try these timings. Uh, that's my point. So let's go ahead and run through some games and I'll show you what the difference is between if you leave your XMP profile turned on to 3200 mega transfers versus if you just manually overclock it to pass 4000 mega transfers. Okay, so for this one, we'll be using Far Cry 6 and we'll be testing at low settings for everything here. And so far, so good. 140 fps average but we're just starting off so too early to call it but you can see that the uh, 3060 ti is not really breaking a sweat which by the way um, 
2025 and a 3060 Ti is still a very relevant GPU. Um, too bad NVIDIA decided to go with 8 gigabytes instead of 12 gigabytes also for the 3060 Ti, just like they did on the 3060, but oh well. It is what it is. Okay, so 118 FPS is going to be 4266. And this one here was actually very difficult to record for you guys because I kept getting killed. I had to start over like four or five times just to get it right. But um, in short, if you don't want to watch the whole, you know, benchmark here, you're looking at 20 FPS boost going from 3200 mega transfers to 4266 with your RAM. 20 FPS. That's incredible, man. That's like going from, I'm not even sure what, 3060 Ti, from a 3060 Ti to a 3070 Ti, you know, 20 extra FPS or something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but it's a lot. Just by tweaking your RAM, if you want to take the time and, um, you know, follow the steps on the first video that I posted so you can get a better idea of what you're doing. This one here, just a follow up on that video, just so you guys understand what I'm trying to do here with this video. Um, this is this video here, like I said, is focusing on the memory controller and what I did not talk about in the first video, which means which is that, again, the memory controller on these CPUs. The 5500, 5600G, 5700, and 5700G, these monolithic uh, cores or you know architecture processors have a different memory controller, and this memory controller allows for this RAM speeds. Uh, there's no other 5000 series CPU that can do this. Uh, if you try to go over 3800 mega transfers, the system just crashes. It, it doesn't boost or you keep getting memory errors and it is just horrific but um, anyway I think you guys get the point here um, I'm not gonna keep beating a dead horse but yeah it's um, you're looking at about yeah 20 extra FPS if we just uh, take this all the way to the end um, you guys will be pretty amazed so yeah, definitely RAM overclocking does help in Fortnite a great deal because Fortnite is a CPU bound uh, game or I don't want to say that, but it is a game that takes advantage of a fast CPU. So yeah, that's, uh, that's Fortnite for you. But look at that. Yep. 20 extra FPS just by overclocking your RAM. Man. All right, guys, that's all I had to bring to you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, for whatever reason, you know what to do. Um, please subscribe. It helps the channel out. It doesn't cost you anything. I uh, will be posting more videos up coming up here in the future, so stay tuned. Um, yeah, that's all I had for now. Take care. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.